So it's Molina, Slutskaya, and Sokolova. One, two, three in the standings. And it comes down to a battle of the 26-year-olds. Maria Butirskaya of Russia, the six-time Russian national champion. And she's been on a roll the past year and a half, really enjoying the best days of her career, but desperately wants a win here in her home country. Found herself in second place after the short program. her potential as an eligible hasn't yet been fulfilled and just like it was at the Europeans her only competition is really herself opening with a nice triple up jump when she entered the jump it was on a curve and a flip jump should be on a straight line nice position in this camel row well, she's battled nerves all of her career she goes into these jumps very cautiously She needs every one of these triples. Ah, oh, that is going, that move right there will cost her this championship. Any hope of pulling up. Remember, that was one of those disastrous falls where you're really splat out on the ice and everybody sort of feels for you. You cannot, uh, you cannot hide those moves. how stiff-legged she is when she lands she doesn't sink into the knees there's not an elegance or, or a beauty either there or in this layback spin forward camel sideways spin back camel back sit spin oh how disappointing for her You know, she is not a great athlete, but she has survived and overcome uh, that in the past few performances, and it's been really marvelous to see. It just fell apart tonight, and uh, 
It, that's it's very, very unfortunate for her. Well, at one point, the Russian Federation pretty much gave up on her. That's how she felt, and so many doubted her here in Russia. She want, went out and proved them wrong. She really wanted to do that at home here in this competition as well. Look at her face. Doesn't that tell you the whole story? Maria Butierskaya, and you could feel the air go out of this building when she lay on the ice after having fallen. And here is her triple flip, her second jump in the program. That was a disaster. Her feet were just kind of stuck together. She didn't get enough spring in that to finish the uh, revolutions. And I think really a lot of that... Unfortunate. Look at here in this Salkow, right there. Good cross legs, but her body just flops forward. And it's one of those spins, one of those falls that just stops the motion, splats you across the ice, and leaves you in a disastrous position. And this is how she left the ice, although it took her a long time to leave the ice. And the crowd at some point started to cheer to pick her up. There she is with her coach, Elena Tchaikovskaya, one of the great teachers. So now the first set of marks, 5.5 up to 5.7. What can you say about those? I mean... I think she's in just disbelief that this all happened to her. She doesn't even want to look. So here are the final results in the ladies' competition. Tatiana Molina is the winner. Maria Butierskaya finishes second. We'll see those two at the World Championships in Helsinki. Don't know yet about Arena Slutskaya, who finished third, or Yelena Sokolova, both from Russia, who finished fourth. Fumi Sigori of Japan finishes in fifth.